Hello everyone. I'm the Education Librarian at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater Anderson Library and today I'm going to help you get started with a reference manager. You'll be using this as you gather references for your own research or work on literature reviews for a professor. Citation managers are software applications that help researchers organize and share articles and references they find while doing research. They're also often referred to as reference managers or as bibliographic management software. They do a lot more than just simplify the process of creating citations and reference lists. They can help you by collecting references automatically as you research, storing thousands of citations, organizing your collections of references, backing up online, collaborating with others, formatting references in numerous styles such as APA, MLA, Chicago, and many others, and inserting references into text documents automatically. Let's get started. If you're going to be collaborating with a professor or others on campus, be sure to use your UWW email account or be sure that they at least know the email address you'll be using so that you can share folders later on. Also, be ready to select a password with at least one capital letter, a symbol, and a number. If you need a password reminder in the future, you can always use the Forgot Your Password link. Now, take a moment to go to myendnoteweb.com and click the Create an Account link. When you've completed the registration process, return to this tutorial and continue watching. Now that you have created an account and are logged in, our first step is to create and share groups. Groups are similar to folders. I have created two groups for two of my projects, RAP and URP. The people symbols show me that I have shared these folders with other people so that they can see my references and they can also edit them if I give them permission. I can also see that other people have shared groups of references with me. In this case, that person has given me the right to use and edit references in their group. I can also see that I have a total of 13 references that I have collected so far. The unfiled group tells me that I have five references that I haven't assigned to either of my groups yet. Start by hovering over the Organize tab and selecting Manage My Groups. You can see that I've created numerous groups already. Click the New Group button. Then enter the title of the project or assignment. Click the Manage Sharing button. Then start sharing this group. Type in the complete email address of the person with whom you'd like to share this group. If you'd like that person to be able to edit and add to your group, be sure to select Read and Write. Otherwise, just select Read Only if you don't want them making any changes to your references. At this point, you can add more collaborators or change access permissions. Click the My References tab to return home. You'll now see the group that you just created on your list with the sharing icon. Now it's your turn. Take some time to create some groups and share them with collaborators. Don't forget to check our live guide for EndNote or email or call if you have further questions.